Game time starts. We're going to turn down our mics here and listen in to the PA before we get things rolling, but I'm excited. Jackson Uncle with Sidney Bryant. Let's turn this down. Let's hear the starting lineups. A wildfire in Northwest Arkansas. And a box of election ballots found. Your HU16 News starts right now. Live from the campus of Harding University in Searcy, Arkansas, this is HU16 News Live at 5. Welcome to HU16's Live at 5. I'm McKenna Vaught. And I'm Ethan Brazell. Let's get started. A large human caused forest fire has broken out in Northwest Arkansas. 41 acres of Ozark National Forest east of Mountainburg have been burning since Monday. Natural and man-made barriers have aided in efforts to contain the fire and keep it away from residential areas. Wildfire conditions are dynamic this time of year, so leaf burning is discouraged and campfires should be a safe distance from wooded areas. A White County man has been sentenced to 10 years in prison for possession of drugs and firearms. 30-year-old Tony Joe Ward pled guilty earlier this month to a Case Y felony charge. Ward had the intent to deliver several controlled substances, namely methamphetamine and marijuana. He was convicted back in 2009 to drug-related crimes when he was only 18. This holiday season, seatbelt safety is more important now than ever. HU16's Maddie Powers has the story. Maddie? Thanks, Ethan. With the holiday season almost here, this means more traveling, which unfortunately means more accidents. But the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration is trying to prevent this with the Click It or Ticket campaign. More law enforcement will be on the roads to carry out this campaign that implements seatbelt use to keep people safe on the roads. I spoke with Sergeant Todd Dewitt from the Searcy Police Department and spoke with him about the Click It or Ticket campaign. It's, it's a pretty big problem. The, there were about, in 2018, there were about 9,778 deaths dealing with not wearing seat belts. And most of them are happening at nighttime from like 6 p.m. to 5.45 a.m. Most of the time we just want to put out the, the um, idea that seat belts are more safe and they protect life. The last thing that we want to do is to work an accident or anything like that involving someone with a loss of life because of not wearing the seat belt. The Click It or Ticket campaign goes from November 16th through the 29th. As simple as it may seem, buckling up can not only save your life, but also the lives of others. Over to you, McKenna. Thank you, Maddie. The Pulaski County Election Commission has voted the results to all but one race from the general election. The only race left is House District 32 State Rep Jim Sorvia, Sorvillo and his Democrat challenger Ashley Hudson. The results of this race have been called into question after election officials revealed that the mistakenly counted 327 disqualified ballots. Sorvillo filed a lawsuit challenging the results and the results will not be certified until further notice. An unaccounted for box of ballots was found Monday afternoon. Pulaski Election Commissioner Joshua Price said that the box could contain anywhere from 400 to 500 ballots. A motion was made by the Commissioner Price to count the ballots, and while there was some hesitation for a second motion, the commissioners unanimously approved. Wednesday, November 18th is the certification date for all ballots to be counted and certified. CEOs of major social media companies are being summoned before Congress. Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg and Twitter's Jack Dorsey are being called to def defend their handling of disinformation in the 2020 presidential election. Before the election, both men promised lawmakers that they would aggressively guard their platforms from foreign manipulation and violence. There is no evidence against the social media giants, but they are still being criticized by both Democrats and Republicans. The Arkansas Department of Health hopes to receive a COVID-19 vaccine by January 2021. On Monday, drug manufacturing company Moderna announced its vaccine is seeing a 94.5% success rate in its clinical trials. This news comes during a surge of COVID cases and deaths throughout the state. And state officials say that the vaccine will be available to the public for no out-of-pocket cost unless medical providers bill for the administration fee. Later on in the show, we take a look at an online auction happening soon. But first, we have your weather with HU16's Chip Ashley. Chip? Thanks, McKenna. 
Now, as you're probably already aware, this is the last week that we'll be on campus before we head off for Thanksgiving break. And I gotta say, the weather's looking perfect for us to end the week and travel home on. I'll tell you all about it after the break. It appears these hot ashes are about to be dumped, which could possibly start a wildfire. How will Smokey deal with such a hot situation? The garden hose defense. Next, a thorough stir. Then, another spray. And finally, feeling if the ashes are cool. Oh, yeah. Ah, yes, the selfie. A ritual practiced so frequently with this tribe, but not so much by Smokey Bear. Only you can prevent wildfires. Todd's a great guy. I mean, look at him. What a sweetheart. Attaboy. Wait, Todd, what are you doing? How totally selfish and untod like of you. Come on, Todd. Come on, man. Open road, here comes the Hefley family. Whether it's a short trip or a long haul. Estimated time, 47 hours. They will beg. You're hungry? I'm happy to provide. They will plead. Deep, Deep fried, fried butter, butter on, on a stick. stick. But whatever you do, don't wimp out. Now you're talking. Make them buckle up. He can't hurt. Remember, safety first. Cheese curls. Ah! Second. Are you orange? <laughs> Maria, so how's work? It was fourth period biology. Our students just weren't getting how easily viruses spread. So Miss Bell and I had them role play a zombie virus outbreak. By the time they had all learned the lesson, all the living were dead. Hey, how's your job going? That big sales meeting I planned? Next year, I might get to go. <clears throat> cool. Welcome back to HU16 Live 5. I'm Chip Ashley with your weather. Let's get started. Looking right now in Searcy, Arkansas, you'll see we have clear skies at 63 degrees, wind speeds at 11 miles an hour, and humidity at 23%. Looking like a good day today. Looking across Arkansas, you'll see starting in Monticello and Texarkana areas, you'll see kind of clear skies and sunny skies all across the state. Nothing too crazy to report as the whole entire state is in the upper to mid 60s, except for Jonesboro, which is 58 degrees. But